Hi, what's up guys? Today I would like to show you my Spellbook Runic deck profile. So let's get into the main deck. For the Spellbook cards I play 3 Spellbook Magician of Prophecy. This is the searcher of the deck for Spellbook spells. Uh, 3 Spellbook of Secrets. This card can search Spellbook cards from the deck. Uh, 3 Spellbook of Knowledge. Uh, with this card I can draw 2 cards by discarding or sending a Spellbook card from hand or face up on the field to grave. Next one, uh, Fate. With this card I can uh, banish a card from the field or uh, set one monster face down or also I can mm, return one face up spell or trap into the hand. But mostly the most powerful effect is the, uh, the one with banishing three and uh, banishing a card from the field. Next one, Spellbook of Wisdom. Uh, with this card you can make one of your spellcaster monster unaffected by spell or trap. Uh, this card is not that uh, powerful, but it's another name that you can search of uh, a Spellbook of Judgment. And with this card you can search uh, Spellbook cards up to the number of spell cards resolved after this card is activated. And also uh, afterwards you can special summon a a uh, spell uh, caster monster from your deck with the uh, level uh, the same or lower the spell cards you activated during this turn after this card resolved. So you want to resolve uh, at least three spell cards after this card and because you want to special summon from your deck Jago and the Spiritualist. And this card locks uh, both players from uh, special summoning. And also with this card you can dis discard a card and destroy all special summon cards from the field. So uh, this is one of your win conditions. Next for the runic portion of the deck. Three runic tip. Three flashing fire. Three freezing curses. 3 Runic Destruction, 3 Runic Slumber, and one of each Dispelling, a Smiting Storm, a Golden Droplet, and 2 Runic Phantom. Uh, so I play uh, one of each names because I want to activate as many spells as possible. Uh, in other decks I wouldn't play Golden Droplet, but it can be useful in combination with Dispelling because you can Activate a droplet, uh, force your opponent to draw a card, and you can activate chain dispelling and uh, discard a card. So that's it for the runics. Next, three upstart goblin, uh, two. This is another free draw and free spell activation. And one ghost trick shot for the ghost trick combo that you can uh, make with. Uh, ghost trick, uh, mischief and succubus. If you want to uh, check out the combo I made it a couple months ago so I can link it. It will be in the description. And that's it for the main deck. In the extra I play two Yukin, one Munin for time, one Gary and one Slepnir. Next for the links, one Crowley. This is uh, also a spellbook a searcher. One Espirit Knight. Uh, this card can help you clear your opponent's board and also it uh, banishes itself so you can clear uh, with your ex extra monster zone wi with it. So, uh, next one Armored Kappa. Uh, so this card is uh, nice here because you can make it with a spellbook uh, Magician of Prophecy and Hugin and uh, during your opponent's turn you can discard a card and all your monsters cannot be destroyed by uh, battle so your opponent cannot uh, attack over your jargon. Next one. Number 29, Manakin Cat. Uh, this is another way to special summon Jaugen from your deck if you if your opponent plays any spell casters or white, white monsters. Next one, Socrude Boss, uh, two Ghost Trick Angel of Mischief, 
for the combo and auto uh, utopic future and utopic Draco future uh, you can make this card with uh, two ghost trick angel of mischief on the field and the last card in the extra is one typhoon and that's it for the deck profile let me know in the comments what do you think about this deck what would you change and what other deck profiles would you like to see thanks for watching and see you next time